Arthur, Merry Christmas. Daddy loves you so much. This is Super Mario Brothers Trapped in the Perilous Pit. A long, long time ago, sometime last Monday, two apprentice plumbers from Brooklyn, New York were hard at work. Their names were Mario and Luigi, and everyone called them the Mario Brothers. On this particular day, the brothers were trying to clean a clogged sewer right underneath a gypsy fortune teller's shop. Perhaps some magic leaked down from the shop, or maybe the Mario Brothers turned the wrong pipe. Whatever happened, the Mario Brothers were suddenly found themselves being washed away through a drain pipe and into a warp zone. After falling through time and space, they eventually ended up in the magic land of Princess Toadstool's mushroom people. Since they couldn't find a bus back to Brooklyn, they set up their own local plumbing business to keep busy until they could make their way home. Princess Toadstool was a super nice person and friendly ruler of the mushroom people. One day, way down deep underneath her palace, Mario and Luigi were busy putting plenty of puzzling pipes in their proper places. This sure is hard work, said Luigi, but I'm always happy to do work for Princess Toadstool. It's only hard work for plumbers with hard heads, said Mario. My head may be hard, said Luigi, but at least my stomach's normal. I don't eat disgusting stuff like mushroom and jelly sandwiches. Yeah. Oh no, cried Mario, ignoring his brother and searching for his lunchbox. I've run out of fresh mushrooms. I know, said Mario. I'll bet there'll be some fresh mushrooms growing farther down. And he went looking for mushrooms, which as we know, grow in dark, damp places. Suddenly he heard a strange sound. Mario was horrified to see evil King Koopa and his Koopa troopers invading the castle. Great gobs of purple pasta, thought Mario. King Koopa is up to no good. What can I do? All of a sudden, Mario looked down at his feet and saw the answer to his questions. Magic red mushrooms. Eating mushrooms is very, very dangerous unless you know which ones are safe to eat. Luckily, Mario knew that these mushrooms were safe. He knew that these mushrooms had the power to make anyone change into a giant. Now I'll scare those Koopa Troopers, he said, as he gobbled down a red mushroom. Out from behind the pipes came a giant Mario, yelling, fee fi fo fat you'd better run or I'll squash you flat. The frightened Koopa Troopers ran screaming in every direction. But evil King Koopa wasn't fooled as easy as his Koopa Troopers. That is no giant monster, he snarled, as he waved his hands majestically at the pipes. He is only one of them stupid Mario Brothers who are always getting in the way. My menacing magic can squeeze him down to size. Watch and see. Ha ha ha. Unknown to evil King Koopa or Mario, Luigi was nearby. After picking flowers for the princess, he went searching for his brother Mario. Oh no, he thought. I knew Mario was taking too long, but I had no idea he was getting into trouble. Wait a minute, maybe I can help. After all, these aren't ordinary flowers. These are magic fire flowers. Out from behind the pipes, Luigi charged at the Koopa Troopers, furiously firing a fire flower. Flee, flee, cried the frightened Koopa Troopers. The fire from the fire flower will fry our flesh. Hurry, hurry, called Mario. The Koopa Troopers won't remain started for long and we have to warn the princess. Racing through the passageways beneath the castle, Mario and Luigi tried to escape the Koopa Troopers, but the villains chased them right into a hidden trap door. Yo, that was quite a step, yelled Luigi as he fell. That was no step, you bumbler, said Mario. We've fallen into a trap. How are we going to warn the princess now? While, while other squadron Koopa Troopers captured Mario Brothers, a second squadron continued up through the castle pipes to Princess Toadstool's throw room. Eek, she screamed. Koopa Troopers grabbed her and her guards. Oh, goodness gracious, cried the princess as the Koopa Troopers carried her off. Deep down in the dark, damp, perilous pit, the helpless Mario Brothers heard Princess's cries. What can we do, wailed Luigi? My fire flower can't burn us out of here. So true, cried Mario, and my magic red mushrooms can't help. It's even too deep for a giant to climb out. That's funny, said Luigi. The princess's screams seem to be getting louder. There's nothing funny about that, said Mario. King Cooper is throwing her down here with us. Oh, goodness gracious, said the princess as she landed on the floor of the pit with a hard bump. King Cooper is closing the door. We're going to run out of air. Oh no, cried Luigi. King Cooper will loot the castle while we're being held helpless down here. Even with our magic objects, we can't seem to stop him. But you can, cried Princess Toadstool, and she noticed a flower and the mushrooms. All you have to do is work together. Together, that's it, cried Mario. 
He ate his last magic red mushroom. In an instant, he began to grow. Held high by the giant Mario, Luigi carefully aimed the last fire flower at the wooden trap door. It's working, he cried. I couldn't have reached it without your help. And I couldn't have opened it without yours, said Mario graciously. Boom, the fire flower burst open the wooden trap door of the perilous pit. Out scrambled Luigi before King Cooper or any of the Cooper Troopers realized what had happened. Luigi grabbed his wrench and opened the biggest water pipe he could find. Bye bye, he said, as King Cooper and the Cooper Troopers were washed away. That night, a huge victory party was held in the throne room in honor of the heroic Mario Brothers. What's the matter, Mario? asked Princess Toadstool. Why do you look upset after your great victory? I ate the last mushroom to get us out of that pit. Now I have no, no mushrooms for my jelly sandwiches. You know what, asked Luigi laughing. I'd face a hundred other dark perilous pits, but I hate to see what's down in the pit of Mario's stomach. Be quiet, said Mario, and get me the pickles to top of my Italian ice. And that was Super Mario Brothers, trapped in the perilous pit. Merry Christmas, Arthur. Love you lots.